Oh, well, thank you, Kenny, for just chatting to us so much more about that biopic coming out later this year. And now, Kenny Kutsia is an absolute legend when it comes to boxing. And what he's done for the country as a sportsman has just been so, so inspirational. And to pay homage to the man's great work, we thought we'd uh, give you some inspiration and kick today's fitness session off with a little boxing inspiration. And I'm joined by the illustrious Jamie Lee Domberg. Listen, I may not be the rose of Soweto, you know, but I am going to be the rose of experience. So, oh, we yeah. got to your page. <laughs> Home to you. I'm excited. Let's listen. <laughs> All right, so we're doing something fun, of course, and we're relating this very much to boxing. And one thing when it comes to boxing is high level of conditioning, a high level of core control. You're quick on your feet, you're light, you're staying off your heels, and you're always keeping your guard up and maintaining that protection. So as you will see in many of the documentaries and films that you might watch out, uh, you'll see that the skipping is an essential component when it comes to the conditioning of a boxer and maintaining that fitness to last those rounds and take it into the end zone. All right, so we're gonna start with something skipping. A very, very basic uh, drill when it comes to skipping. What we wanna maintain is using skipping as a warm-up is great. You want to stay off your heels. So we're never jumping straight on our heels. You really want to start using the control coming from whipping the wrists, all right? So whipping those wrists around, Jamie. And you really want to just find a nice smooth rhythm. And oh, I already see you got this flow quite nicely. Woo! Board? Okay. <laughs> and then of course, you guys at home, if you want to start changing things up quite a bit, so start moving your feet around. Um, what you can really try and implement is start doing some butt kicks, really good, some high knees will help you. And then get those feet out just to kind of increase the coordination and this is what's really going to prime you for boxing when it comes to connecting the body and getting these workouts right correct and done the essential way it needs to so what we're going to start off with grab ourselves some weights we've got a real cool gym hack today once again you can use dumbbells at home if you have you can use your boxing mitts or anything that's weighted i'm going to hand jamie a can of um well, just a can of food essentially, it's a 500 gram weight, so that's perfect. And now I've got two kgs, just to kind of keep it light so I still have some good control. Now, with a boxer, you need to make sure that you emphasize boxing and using your entire body. So the, the, the actual punch comes from the base, from the ground, all the way through to your foot into your hand. Once you've done that punch, we're gonna go into a nice squat. So you're gonna keep your weights in front of you, okay? Keep guarded, okay? Protect your face. We go down for a squat, and then we're gonna punch through to the left while using your leg to come across you. That's perfect, Jamie, I love that. And now we go down for a squat once again, and then push through to the right. Extend that arm out, keep that control. Lovely stuff. And you guys at home, we're gonna basically repeat this 20 times in total. We really wanna get the conditioning going, and as a boxer, you need to get fit. You obviously need to stay in that end zone, okay? So keep your control, squat at the hip, hinge at the hip, and keep that form, especially when you're coming through on your punches. Don't forget, keep your guard up. You don't want to take a sucker punch. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to be doing now, staying with our guard up, we're now going to work those shoulders and those delts, and we're also going to take a big blow when it comes to hitting the core. So especially as a boxer, you need to defend yourself for those body blows, and we're really going to get the conditioning up for that. So what we're going to do, guard up once again, Jamie. What you first you're going to do is you're going to press up straight in front of you, feel those shoulders burning quite nicely. Then as you come down, you're literally going to just connect with the opposite leg, to the opposite elbow, and then you go back, press up, and then you do the same thing on the other side. Opposite leg, opposite elbow, and you'll feel that crunch. Then, Jamie, yes. the exact same thing. We're gonna press up, and now as we come down, you're gonna open up to the side. Yeah, you feel that? Ooh. And then press up, and then straight again, open up to the side. All right, let's try that one more time. So we're gonna go across, press up, and then opposite elbow, opposite head, leg. Same thing on the other side, press up. My shoulders are burning, I don't know about you, Jake. My legs are burning. <laughs> and then we're gonna hit those obliques now to the side, lovely stuff. And then once again, over to the other side. You guys at home, you can add some speed to this, put some conditioning into it as well, because you really wanna simulate boxing and then recreating that environment that you're in. Ooh, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good, but I feel like, why didn't we, we had two cue dramatic music. Dun, 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 dun. dun. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I love it. Right, but now for finishing off with the most essential part, it's your core, it's your conditioning. So we're just gonna drop down to our bums onto the ground now, and we're gonna be doing something called a Russian twist. And again, this is gonna give us accentuation on the shoulders, especially when you're coming through on those punches. 
but more importantly, the cross-functional requirement of the core in order to remain solid and strong to absorb a punch as well as return one at the same time. So keep your weight on your side. You're gonna lift your feet up off the ground, keeping your weight in your hands. You're gonna rotate and drop it to the one side, switch over and then straight over to the other side, all right? Simple as that, you guys are gonna try 10 in total for these Russian twists that are really nice. And then after 10, you're gonna straighten your leg and then com complete those le next 10 reps. And you guys are going to feel an absolute burn in your obliques, in the stomach and the core. How are you feeling over there, Jamie? I will never be able to wear Spanx after these because I feel like my core is just gonna be <laughs> tight after this. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. An epic inspired workout. This is from Kiri Kutsia, and we're trying to get box fit. And I know you guys are gonna love this. So grab a weight at home and finish off this epic boxing set. Woo! It's a burner. <laughs> Cheers, guys.